payback period is not as much directly we can go for your normal calculation there are two projects one is project x another one is project y as per x you get only 65000 As per Y, you get one lakh thirty-seven more. You will get income after depreciation and tax. Tax we can minus, but depreciation we have to add back. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturer in Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session five of your unit four. financial management and our financial management we are discussing a topic called capital budgeting so in the capital budgeting we are discussing about your npv your payback period arr method as well as your profitability index what we are going to discuss in today's session we'll go for that in today's session we'll go with concept meaning as well as problems a firm is contemplating to invest in project it has two mutually exclusive alternatives project x and project y the firm has with a rupees 10 lakh to invest the following are the cash inflow for 5 years what is the cash inflow for 5 years the cash inflow are like this there are two projects one is project x another one is project y so out of x and y which one we are supposed to consider now so evaluate the two alternative under npv at 10% capitalization rate and we have to find out the pi profitability index also the pv factor if for 1 to 5 years is 0.90 see if it is 10% means remember how to calculate 1 divided by 1 plus rate it is already given in the question sometimes they don't give you then how to find out now 1 divided by 1 plus r in this 1 divided by so 1 plus r means 1 plus what is the percentage the percentage is 10% 10% in the sense 0.1 Zero. It will be one divided by one point one zero. One divided by one point one zero. If you calculate, you will get zero point nine zero nine. If you are using calculator, after getting zero point nine zero nine, just press equals. Then you will get zero point eight two six. Again equals zero point seven five one. Equals zero point six eight three. Equals zero point six two one. All the five years you can calculate in the Calci itself, but no need to calculate. It will be given in the question paper itself. Now, the first thing is your solution project X and project Y. Have they asked about your payback period? No, payback period is not asked. Means directly we can go for your normal calculation. What are the CAF cash inflow they have given? Remember, they have not mentioned that CBDT, cash flow before depreciation and taxation. Cash flow before depreciation and taxation. Now, cash flow before depreciation and taxation. In this, they have not mentioned that it is a cash flow before depreciation and taxation. That is the reason we will not go. With all your plus depreciation, minus taxation, all those we will not do. Directly we go with the final answer. And in the question paper, they have not mentioned about depreciation. They have not mentioned about taxation. So whatever answer is given, this is after doing all calculation. Your your income inflow plus minus depreciation minus tax. Plus depreciation, you get net cash inflow. This is already given. These calculations not required. Hope you are clear. In case they mention that CBDT for five years, then what you have to do? Then you have to do all this calculation. Hope you are clear. Everybody get confused in this, but remember. Unless and until they mention CBDT, 
we cannot go for this calculation. If they mention that it is a CB degree, then we go for this calculation. Now, so your first X is 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakh, 5 lakh and a Y is 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh. Where it is? See in your question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 3 lakh. Now, as per this, what happens? You have written everything yes. What is the percentage we have? As per 10%, 0 0.90, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.621. Hope you are clear. Yes, we got all this information. Once you are done with this, what is the next part? The next part will be just multiply. 1 lakh into 0 0.90, 2 lakh into 0 0.8, 3 lakh into 0 0.7, 4 lakh into 0 0.6, 5 lakh into 0 0.621. If you multiply, your answer will be 90,900, 1 lakh 65, 2 lakh 25, 2 lakh 73, 3 lakh 10,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. We go with Y now. In this Y, what happened? 11 lakh 37 minus 10 lakh, you got 1 lakh 37,000 and come up with X. X, what we have to do? We have to do a small changes. This has to be here. Total of this is how much? 10 lakh 65, 100. And your investment is how much? 10 lakh. What is the answer? 65, 100. Now, see, this is all about X. This is all about y. As per x, your calculation 10 lakh 65 minus 10 lakh, you got 65,000 as your answer. 11 lakh 37 minus 10 lakh, 1 lakh 37 is your answer. See, if you go for project x, 65,000 is your answer. If you go for project Y, 1,37,000 is your answer. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this will be your net present value and this will be net present value. X is better or Y is better? Y is better. Why? Because as per X, you get only 65,000. As per Y, you get 1,37,000 more you will get. That's why project Y will be accepted. This is done. Next is what? Profitability index. See, they have mentioned that NPV of project Y is more than project X. Therefore, project Y is accepted. Now, so calculation of profitability index, total present value divided by initial investment. We will not minus, we will divide. See, your format was, it was minus, but now we will do what? division. This minus this for x 10 lakh 65 divided by 10 lakh. 11 lakh 37 divided by 10 lakh. 10 lakh 65 divided by 10 lakh. 11 lakh 37 divided by 10 lakh. As per x your PI profitability index is 1.065. As per y your profitability index is 1.137. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so these are your information. If you spend 1 rupee, you will get 1 rupee 06 paise. If you spend 1 rupee in Y, you will get 1 rupee 13 paise. Hope you are clear. Good. So these are your project X and project Y. Hope you are clear. Yes. Good. So the profitability index is more than one in case of both the project. Therefore, project both the projects can be accepted. But normally we go with what? Normally we go with your project Y because your return is more compared to X. Hope you are clear. Yes. I'll go back to your previous slide. Before that, yes, problem one, please take a screenshot. Then we go for problem two. So we have problem number one solution part and this is your final answer. Now we'll go for problem number two. Almost it is the last problem in your capital budgeting. Under capital budgeting, ABC Limited is considering to invest either on project X or project Y. 
assuming the rate of return is 10 percent evaluate the project proposals by so we have to do average rate of return profitability index net present value and the last one payback period everything we have to go i'll go one by one and we have project like there are total how many years one two three four five six years a return investment for project x is fifty thousand for project y is sixty thousand and number of years five number of years six and net income after depreciation and tax see after depreciation and tax this is your final answer thousand two two five six seven seven nine ten nine eleven and sixth year we don't have income but sixth year we have income why because this project is only for five years and this project is for how many years six years hope you are clear yes so next it is estimated that each of the project will require an additional capital of rupees five thousand depreciation is allowed under straight line method present value of rupees one at ten percent given below in this year one two three four five six these are the present value factors now directly i'll go for your npv calculation before npv calculation now see profit after tax 1200 add depreciation because in the question they have mentioned that income after depreciation and tax tax we can minus but depreciation we have to add back after means it is already deducted we have to add it back so profit after tax we know what is the depreciation they have not mentioned anything means your investment is 50000 number of years 5 your depreciation is 10000 what is your depreciation your depreciation is 10000 now so 10000 is your depreciation so after this 10,000 your depreciation present value then 10,000 all your depreciation add back 1,200 plus 10 all these answer you got similarly for project Y all the income you have written depreciation you have added your answer is 22 we will not minus taxation it is already deducted only we add depreciation now once you done with this, the total is how much? 17. And in the question, they have mentioned that 5,000 additional capital. So, simple calculation. They have given that the profit after depreciation, after tax. After tax is okay, but after depreciation means it is already deducted. We have to add back. So, we have just depreciation. We added just we added depreciation clear yes so after this uh, project x original cost and additional your cost is 50 additional is 5 cost is 60 additional is 5 65055 your investment now it is not 50000 because there is an additional investment of 5 that you have to add Computation of payback period. So you got all the answer here. See 11, 200, 12, 15, 16, 17, 17,000, 19,000, 20, 19. All these your income. Write all the income. Write cumulative. How to calculate cumulative? 11, 200 plus 12. It will be 23. Plus 15, 38. Plus 16, 54. Plus 17, 71. 200 now so similarly we add back everything you get cumulative 1 lakh 18 600 and the cumulative it ends on 71 200 so this is only five years and this is for six years what is your investment 55 when do you get in between what is your investment 65 where do you get one two three four in between you will get in this in between you will get now 
So you have 55,000. Number of years, see? 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth year, how much you got? 54, 200. How much more you need? Another 800 needed. 54, 200, you got another 800 needed. So, another 800. Now, difference between fourth and fifth year. Difference between fourth and fifth year. So, it will be 17,000. So, it will be what? 800 divided by 17,000, you got 0, 0.047. 4 year plus 0 0.047, 4.047. Hope you are clear. Yes. Similarly, project Y, marginal cost is 60 plus 5, 65. I'll go back. 65, you will get 1, 2, 3. In between third and fourth year, so 3 plus 3 plus, now, you got 56,000, but we need 65. 65 minus 56, 600. The answer is around 8,400. 8,400, difference is 19,000. You got 0 0.442. Your answer is 3.442. Now, notice payable period of project Y is less than project X. Therefore, project Y is preferred for investment. Hope you are clear. Yes. So I'll go back to all these slides. Please take a screenshot. Your question. Question number two. Question. And this is your question. End of your question. Your solution part one. Solution part two. Solution part three. This is your last part of your solution. So this is all about your today's session. For second problem, profitability index, we have not done. NPV, we have not done. It is your homework you have to do because you know what is the total. Total divided by investment, it will be your PI. Total minus investment, it will be your what? NPV. Please work out at home. These two problems are very important. Thank you.